the live sick show. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Ho, ho, ho. Isn't he a gorgeous man? What do you think? Lovely. Oh. Fluffy. Emma. Oh. Emma. Oh. Fluffy. Oh. The live sick show oh. are bringing people together. Now, Jenny, what do Marco and Ewan McGregor and football's most flamboyant character, Big Ron Atkinson, have in common? They're forming a new boy band. Mm, not quite. Tune in to find out. Yeah! The Live Six Show, Monday at 6 on Sky One. Wow, welcome back. Just a quick taster there of a British Bulldog who will be on shortly. Um, but here we are, live, on the deck of the Cutty Sock. Aha! All right, and here at the... <laughs> Don't even start on that. The Millennium Borough of Greenwich. You yes, can say it's a gorgeous evening. Turn it is indeed. Again. Turn that nice again and still on board as our shipmate Samantha Jenis. A Vaspian. Not you, Sam. That's just an expression. A shipping expression. Uh, right, ship fact. Do you want a ship fact, then? Oh, yes, please. Here it is. The Cutty Sark, on which we are, uh, is the only remaining tea clipper in the whole wide world. We were just saying that, weren't we? Well, yeah. I said that well, I said you're a tea clippers, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, me too. So that's your fact. That is a ship fact, for sure. It's a fact. This is fact. Thanks. That's, it. That's all right. <laughs> OK. Now, uh, <laughs> Sam, do you, do you like, did you see Bulldog there? I did, yeah. You're a fan of... I miss him, really. Yeah. <laughs> it's like an eclipse. Yeah, it? fan of wrestling? Oh, yeah, huge. Mm. Good, I'm glad you said that, because uh, the WWF <laughs> is watched by reported 2 billion people worldwide. But for one night only, all that lycra, all that, oh, that muscle, all that... Ooh. Oh, that big show is going, going to be coming to Britain and it's going to be on Sky Box Office Saturday night at 8 pm. And one of the highlights is the fight between the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, and our next guest, the British Bulldog. He's coming on the show live and exclusive on the Live Six Show. But before he does, let's take a look at the man in action. Nice meeting you. Yo, yo, take a seat, sir. Take so, your weight off your latest release. We'll get, we'll get right down to the nitty gritty. This coming Saturday, big, big session at the NEC against Sean Michaels. Uh, so, are you, are, you, are you sort of confident or what? I'm, I'm t totally 100% confident. The British Bulldog is always confident. I'm always victorious when I step in the ring. I'm the European heavyweight champion of the World Wrestling Federation. I'm unbeatable, as you can see by the mind-blowing biceps right okay. here, 23 inches. Impressive, Mr. Bulldog, but let's take a look <laughs> at your opponent. Let's have a look at the form guide. The heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels, weighs down for absolutely no one. He's a subtle, understated kind of fella, isn't he? And I reckon he's at least an inch off yours. At least an inch off. He's a few got an inch off mine. So do you find him intimidating at all? I mean, he's perhaps an intimidating sort of bloke to be in the locker room, soaping up. No, <laughs> he's not intimidating at all. He's a, he's a great wrestler. I can't, I can't take that away from him. He's a great wrestler. He's one of the World Wrestling Federation's best superstars going today. We're stepping on my turf in England. Really? We're not in the United States of America right now. No, We're right, right here in the United it's Kingdom. Yeah, to hear a wrestler with an English now. accent, isn't yeah. it? That's right. Are you allowed to pull yeah. his hair? Because he's got lots of it. That's what I'll, I do. I'll, First thing I'd go for. Oh, I'm going to yank it right out of his head. Yeah. Ooh. So, so do you sort <laughs> of like, some you know, space, sort of beforehand? Do you sort of like get to stare each other out and all that in the locker room, or are you sort of kept well apart from each other? Ah, uh, well, we're kept well apart from each other. We're not really, uh, we don't get on too well. You oh, know. So that's really... He's kind of his own little thing, you know. He likes his dancing and prancing in the ring. Yeah. I like to get in the ring and get the job never... done. He's yeah. all fake tan as well, isn't he? Fake tan and oh, tan. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You're the real thing. Tattoos and all that. I would say that's, 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 that's a problem with Van der Holyfield had when he squared up to Tyson. He went up to him and you just went, right here, right now. And the rest <laughs> was history. So that's the squaring up. It's a bad move. I have to yeah. say, you've got quite a mixed accent now because um, obviously you are from here, but you, you went over um, I went over to, to uh, foreign shores. 
I went over to Canada uh, when I was uh, 17. Yeah. And uh, I've been over there for the past 16, 17 years. So why did you decide to leave Britain and sort of wrestle over in Canada? Well, I was wrestling here in, in England uh, for uh, Max Crabtree and then decided to just uh, take it one step further and go to the, the bigger ranks in uh, Canadian wrestling, Calgary Stampede Wrestling. And then from there I went to the World Wrestling Federation which is the best uh, federation in the world today. And why do you think it is the best federation? Why is it so popular then? Because you've got the British Bulldog, you've got the Legion of Doom, you've got Shawn Michaels, you've got Bret the Hitman Hart, you've got The Undertaker, you've got all the world's top wrestlers in the World Wrestling Federation today. All the ones you today. find in a cereal box. Exactly. All the ones you find, including <laughs> me. Yeah. Yeah. Now, be honest. Yeah, you fit in there, you know. I know. <laughs> On behalf of the nation here, Mr. Bulldog, I do have to ask this one simple question. Is wrestling fixed? Is it fixed? This is your chance if to it, set If it was, if it was fixed, I'd be getting paid for nothing. I wish it was fixed. I wouldn't have all these bruises all over me, kicks and battered, and all my heads all scared so off. So it's a definite, so it well confirmed. No, yeah. it's not real. No. There's real slapping no. involved. Okay. Real slapping involved. Okay. You get thrown on the mat. You get thrown on the mat. I've got a bad back, four turns in my right knee, but I still go in the ring and get the job done. Okay. okay. All right, Mr. Bulldog. Easy, easy. Yeah. Just, let him ha just let him have that yeah. one. I'll call Human him down. I'll call okay. him down. Okay. <laughs> well, if you want more information about the fight, the number to call is the Sky Box Office line on 0990 800 880. That's 0990 800 880. 888, in fact. Treble eight, treble eight. There you go. So it's 0990 800 888. But in the meantime, please salute the British Bulldog. Bulldog! Yeah. Yo, 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 yo. What do you find is the sexiest accent in the world for you? I mean, it's probably obvious, isn't it? Italian. Oh, it has to be it. Italian. Or and Cockney. Cockney, Cockney, you know. But as, as, as for you, Mr Bulldog, <laughs> if that's right, um, do, do the Americans find your accent sexy? Yeah, they uh, married a, a Canadian woman, you know, they... Uh, as soon as she heard my voice, bam, she went for me. Right really? Away. It's nothing to do with those big muscles and that great turn then, okay. Yeah. Well, a recent survey revealed um, that your accent can play as vital a part to the wily ways of love as does your appearance. So we sent our Life 6 show cameras out and about just to find out just what is the sexiest accent in the world. Oh, yo. Should I compare the, to a summer day, full heart more lovely and more temperate? Uh, rough winds do shake the darling buds of May. And summer's lease hath to short a date. Sometime too hot, the eye of heaven shines. And often is his gold complexion dimmed. And every fear from fear sometimes declines. By chance or nature's cross untrimmed. But thy eternal summer shall not fade. Nor lose position of that fair. Thou always. When in eternal lines to two times to growest. Growest. Chinese guy was a stalker there. Presumably, Sam, you'll be rooting for the Italian then. Oh, <laughs> big time, yeah. <laughs> Did I do anything for you then? Oh, I'm on the floor. Yeah, oh, I know. Cool. <laughs> but uh, I have to say, there was no British contingent there. So, um, no. Mr. Bulldog, please, would you be our British entry? Yes, I would. Yeah. Oh, here we go, here we you go. Just like to motion. read the sonnet in true Bulldog style. <sighs> Should I compare thee to a summer's at night, thou art more lovely and more temperate. King Harry, okay, come on. There's more. You'll get away with that. Shakespeare. You'll get away with yeah, that. he wrote quite a bit, actually. The British Bulldog always loves his wrestling fans, <laughs> and I'll always love oh, these. Oh, Shakespeare, what's that? Okay. Straight That's from the British Bulldog's side. Hamlet. Okay. Right from Goldberg. Yeah. Right. Great quote. There you go. Thanks, sir, uh, to Mr. Shakespeare. Yay! Yay! Cheers. Mr. Bulldog. Fantastic. <laughs> Time for the audience to vote now, so let's put it to the test. But before the audience do vote, uh, I don't want to swear you here, but obviously the British entry is here and he's very, very big. So yeah. if you'd like to now vote, audience, please. OK, oh, let's check oh. the scores on the doors. It looks pretty unanimous to me. So that is, in fact, confirmation that the British accent is the sexiest accent in the world. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, Yes, thank you very much, Sam. Thanks, thank you very much, Mr. Bulldog. Thank Pleasure. You. Yeah. Cheers. And thank you. Uh, join us on Thursday with Jules Holland, Melinda Messenger, and also a very revealing report about matching underwear. Ooh. I don't know. You wish you were there for that one, didn't you? But now, to see us out, here's the reworked version of Stevie V's Dirty Cash. Yeah. Yeah.